Hey guys, this is Leo from Keyword Cupid, and today we're going to go over the new updates we just released in the production environment. Let's get to it. Starting off with some minor updates, we realized that uh, the drop down menu was uh, problematic because when you had a lot of projects, there were some clients that had like you no know, 60 different projects and you couldn't really view all of them, it was going off the page. So we just show the first 10 projects here, and then you can just click view all projects to go to the projects menu, which you can also access from these three dots. And here you can obviously enter a project and just see the reports inside it, or if there is a project that has been um, like you have created earlier, you can just click create a fresh report here and you will be taken to the new uh, report page. Here you can select to bring your own data or the simple report and fill the, the menu as always. You can just click here and also like edit, uh, enter your location or just drag uh, the uh, pointer in the map. And now there is this new option called SerpSpy. And what SerpSpy does is that it scrapes the first 10 to 20 uh, uh, SERPs for each keyword that you are having in your reports. This allows us to uh, be able to compile meaningful statistics such as the average content length, the uh, number of H2s, the number of outgoing backlinks to different sites. Uh, so you can get a, a bit of a, 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 an idea of what your competitors or what, um, uh, you, you know, that the profile of that uh, SERP vector d does. You can just simply click it, and then when you run the report, it's going to take it into account. What you can also do is that you can uh, select here. Uh, you can just go to the report menu for each project, and then in the service bar, you can just click this button. So this will uh, allow you to dynamically, without having to rerun the report and then clustering, just scrape the SERPs for those keywords and append the results to the mind map and the Excel. In the cases that you have already done it and you know an update has happened, a lot of time has passed and you want to redo the crawl, you can just simply click this again and it will refresh uh, the, the, script, um, the script results. And just to be clear, we going into uh, you know, extending length to be able to, sh to be sure that we're scraping only the content of the page, that the thing that is written, uh, that is read from the user, not the sidebar headers, footers, or anything else that could be in the page. So we can guarantee that when you're seeing a thousand uh, words for the content, this is a thousand words of the actual content, not all the surrounding. One of the things that we can see that uh, has also changed is the Excel report. And the Excel report now has um, a different layout. It's a, it's a compact layout. And thank you, Adam from Superlative and Daryl from uh, Lionzeal that uh, they have helped a lot into coming up with this new uh, format. Everything else uh, has been here uh, be that was before. It's uh, still here, so you can see the individual metrics once you unhide uh, the columns from here. But uh, in this new sort of tab, what you have is everything, everything at once. And the, the difference is that all the keywords now appear in a, in a single column. So you can just pivot it and just put it into our tables or whatever uh, you want without having to unmerge the, the, the cells, which was difficult before. The problem with this approach is obviously that we, can, we have to relinquish the individual metrics because you cannot have both options. Or what you see here is the sum uh, of the, uh, all the keywords for that specific page. The, uh, dotted line indicates how confident we are about those supporting keywords belonging together. As you can see, we're very confident that Budog, BSIs, uh, all of those uh, things go together and it makes sense uh, in terms of the, of the keyword uh, meaning. And then the, uh, um, the strong uh, green line is all the, the different pages that are belong in the same silo or they're very related to each other. And as you see here, this is the natural separation. This is about cute dogs, cute breeds, cutest dogs, everything that has to do with cute. This is what the cluster found that the, the, this silo has to do with cute, but there are individual pages that obviously have a mind, micro intent. And as you go along, you can see the volume, 
uh, difficulty CPC, content length, meta keywords. This is how many keywords you have how, on, on average on the on the meta keywords, uh, like individual keywords. H1, H2s, H3s, bolded keywords inside the, the, the body of their content, which sometimes is good in order to know what you can get away with uh, as this affects uh, the snippets a lot. Outgoing links, uh, this is important because you can also see this is not the links, the internal links in the page. And this is important because it will indicate that because this is, for example, this is an, informatic, an informational page and it usually links to different sort of articles, different sort of pictures. That's why you have this sort of really high uh, amount of outgoing links and images. And this also will give you an idea to uh, be, get a better understanding of what exactly is the intent behind this. Um, in more informational kind of um, uh, queries, you don't see uh, that many outgoing links. Um, yeah. Uh, QC81. Yeah, those are more like they have to do with images and pictures and uh, related links. But that is the general gist of it. It should be easier to use. And if for some reason you don't like the spaces here, I mean, I had to do this in order to be able to distinguish between the, the dotted lines, especially when the colors change. I mean, here it's obviously like massive. But uh, when there is something like this, where there are uh, red or orange uh, pages, which is like you have to be a bit more careful in terms of like understanding what is the intent behind here because there might not be so related. I I want it to be able to be easily distinguishable, uh, but it's quite easy if you want to filter. You can just click all of it and then sort and filter, filter, and then you can just click here and just remove the the blanks. So you will just have the the normal kind of uh, uh, rows. That's it. Uh, let us know what, what you think. Send us an email, uh, you know, comment in the video. We want to hear from you. We want to build things for you. And thank you all of you that uh, helped us come up with those updates. We really take your feedback and we're excited to move forward with the dream and uh, now graduates more like a content editor and like automated content and just show you all the cool things that we have been working uh, behind the lines. So, uh, thank you once more. See you soon.